What's up, man? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I um, got a fairly quick video for you, but I put together a fire kit. So um, the ability to maintain a fire, start a fire, um, whether it's like a survival situation or um, an emergency situation is a pretty big deal. It's pretty um, important. So I put together a kit, everything that's in this um, ammo box basically costs less than $50 and I got all the items from Walmart. So we're going to crack it open, um, take a look at what's inside, um, get into why I have what I have in here and maybe give you some ideas of a kit you could put together for um, relatively cheap. So let's get into it. All right, man, real quick. So before we um, start taking everything out, I just wanted to pop it open and give you a quick um, look as to how everything's tucked away in here. Um, but from this point, we're gonna pull everything out, go over it real quick individually, um, so you can get a better idea and a better look at what's actually in here. All right, man, so got the kit opened up. First thing on the very top is just a um, big multi-purpose lighter. So um, you might have one of these laying around the house. If not, you can pick one up for like two or three bucks. But this one has the flex um, portion on it. so. You can just bend this and get in like tight spaces or whatever the case may be, but um, slightly different, maybe a little bit more efficient and beneficial than the normal one that's just straight like this. This one, you can manipulate it um, however you may need to. All right, next we got a ferro rod. So I put it in this little small plastic bag, zip my bag, just to keep it um, a little bit better protected from water. But um, yeah. So ferro rod, um, nothing fancy. I think this is like $6 at Walmart. Um, and with this kit, uh, I primarily got it just to have it around the house. So um, don't have to go over the top spending money on the items inside. This 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 stuff is pretty redundant. Um, I'll probably make a few more of these kits in, in different variations or whatever the case may be. But um, the stuff that I have in this one is just the stuff that I have in this one. So second thing, ferro rod. All right, so third thing that I have here is just two um, emergency blankets. So yeah, this is called a fire kit, but warm fire, they kind of go together. So the ability to stay warm um, in a situation where it's severely cold is important. So I thought it wouldn't be a bad idea to just put two emergency blankets in here. So here we are. All right, next thing is just a, a two pack of big lighters. Um, so just regular big lighters. So obviously, if you're in a situation where you need to start a fire, um, you want to get the fire started as fast and as efficient, efficiently as possible. Um, and a lighter of whatever type of source is probably the quickest way to do that. So again, redundancies here. So lighter here, lighter here. Um, they both just give you a little bit um, different capabilities depending on what type of situation you find yourself in. All right, next I got a... Uh, some typhoon matches so if you don't know these um hold up very well against strong winds and, and wet conditions um hence the name typhoon matches so um again this stuff is kind of redundant but you may find yourself in a situation where you prefer to use these or you have to use these um versus something like the big lighter so um weather conditions may be a little bit more extreme or severe and you may have to use something like this to get the fire going. So that's why these are in here. All right, again, um, another box of matches. So these are windproof and waterproof. Um, but again, just redundancy. So I think, in my opinion, these are probably hold up a little bit better than these. But um, as you can see, different size boxes. So if you, if you have an issue where you're running tight on space, you may have to throw these in there. But if, if that's not an issue, then you can pack these or both. Um, again, you don't want to be in a situation where you need fire and you can't get a fire going. So a lot of this stuff is redundant, um, but you may have to pick or choose one or the other or take both depending on your circumstances and situation. All right. So the next thing I have in here is just some fire starting cubes. Um, so ideally, in the event that you need to get a fire going for whatever reason, you would like to just do something like take one of these out, put it in um, some tinder or some wood or whatever the case may be, light this and then build the fire up from there and keep it going. Um, so there's 12 cubes in here. Um, each cube burns for up to 18 minutes. So that's more than enough time for you to um, 
add some more sticks and, and tweeds and stuff to the fire to build it up and keep it going. But um, not a bad idea to just have things in kits like this that's just gonna make the job that the kit is for a little bit easier. So fire starter cubes. All right, last but not least, man, I have um, some packs of hand warmers, some packs of hand warmers, as well as body warmers. So um, I don't have too much experience, uh, experience with body warmers. I've used hand warmers quite a bit, but I figured with the both of these, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to combine the two. So the body warmers can be, they're designed to be actually stuck to your body. Um, but I would assume you could probably even do something like throw it in the bottom of a sleeping bag or something if you're out camping or find a situation uh, yourself in a situation where you have to spend the night outdoors. So um, these are the last two items that I have in this kit. And then, like I said, I put this entire kit together for $50. Every single item um, came from Walmart. Um, and what I'll do is put a description to some of this stuff or all of it um, below um, under the video. So if you want to put it together a kit like this, um, you can and you can do it for, for fairly cheap. So um, with stuff like this, man, you know, when there's not anything going on in the world and everybody's all, all good and happy, um, you can find this stuff without a problem. But as soon as um, like a hurricane is coming or some other type of uh, impending disaster, one of the first thing that everybody uh, does is run to the store and buy up all of the supplies. But if you just um, dedicate a small amount of funds randomly all throughout the year, um, getting this stuff and putting it away, building kits like this, that'll save you some hassle um, when you actually need it and, and everybody else and their mother is trying to get the stuff. Um, so as we've seen with like COVID, Everybody ran to the store, bought up all the toilet paper, all the hand sanitizer. But if you'd have been grabbing that stuff here and there um, all along, um, either you would have been good all the way or at least you would have been um, in not as tight of a spot as some other individuals may have found themselves. So um, thanks for tuning in, man. Hopefully you learned something and I'll see y'all on the next video.